the uh, the whole media bias and biased against gamers part is sort of really driving Tosca scratching herself. Tosca. She's all about that. Always at a good time. He's ruining <laughs> all the videos with her noises. Oh, oh she's, she's coming, coming up. up to join the she show. To play. Hi, wanna... Oh, what's this uh, star thing? There she is. Oh, it's a bonus car. Oh God. She what are you doing? In the, in the face. It's a kiss. We need to kiss for the sink. Sink kiss. This, oh, well, to sink the yeah. That's how it works. Kiss. Mm. Yeah. That's right. That's how you do it. Hi, Rachel, oh. and everyone Don't put that on, on the tubes. <clears throat> everyone on the YouTube. Don't put that on the show. Oh, it's gonna be uh, all over the show. I'm gonna make it into the, an intro and have it as the entire. Hey guys, Steve Towski here. Welcome back to another episode of Games and Guns. Uh, this week, er, I have the lovely Rachel Hurado. Presto, presto. Presto, presto. <coughs> who just started a new website, did you not? I did. What, uh, you want to tell us a little bit about it? This is going to be a blog about stuff, politics, religion, books. Prestomemos.com. I just couldn't remember it. <laughs> PrestoMemos.com PrestoMemos.com Named after my favorite author, Jonathan Swift. Nickname Johnny Presto. Nick Presto. His nickname was Presto. So. This week we're going to be playing Plants vs. Zombies, uh, which we love still. Yes? I do. I do. And we're going to talk a little bit about Gamergate. It's a gaming show. Hashtag and Gamergate. Gaming political. Gamey, gamey political showiness. Uh, so we should probably talk about the uh, sort of political esque controversy going on in gaming right now. Makes sense, right? Especially after the latest development. I'm gonna be the fire flower. Fire flower, fire flower. All right, I'll be. I kind of want to be cactus. Mm. I'll be fire jumper. The whole thing is basically about. Um, Media bias, more or less, but in in gaming instead of in oh, really? I forgot I have no media no melee. like collusion no, or something. Oh, you've been playing Destiny. Yeah, I've been playing Destiny, so I forgot there's no there's no melee in, in this. They need to add melee to this game. I actually. know. It was basically about media bias. It's it's about how, uh, you know, the more or less in recent years, a lot of the gaming journalism industry has been just nonsense about quotaism in, in video games like there's too many white guys there's not enough albino si Par siberian grandmothers or whatever paraplegic grandmothers. sure uh there's not enough of whatever you know whatever group they uh want more of at, at any given time and so uh <clears throat> and and then a lot of like sort of Hating on traditional gamers. Come on, zombies. But, um. Zombies. What are you doing, zombies? Basically, Gamergate is, is about media bias in gaming. And it's about sort of. It, it morphed into uh, being, being about games journalists sort of hating their, their own audience and attacking their own audience. And. Mm saying that basically their own audience is dead which was probably the most bizarre thing there were like 11 pieces published at essentially on essentially the same day that all basically said the same thing that game gamers are dead uh, and uh you know because they're awful sexist jerks but like basically using a ridiculous stereotype of of gamers uh, and saying that that that's what all game and so there was there's very obvious like collusion going on there because there were all there's 10 or 12 pieces at all the major uh, outlets for for games you know, Kotoku which is like Buzz Gawker's games outlet uh, Buzzfeed Buzzfeed games uh, a, a bunch of just most of the major gaming outlets oh. that exist. It's a grave right there. I'll get it. I got it. 
Look out, there's a Yeti out there, too. It was revealed today, actually, that, uh, and so, like, at the time, when that came out, when there were all these posts at the exact same time saying the exact same thing, and uh, basically attacking the gamers, really bizarre, in my mind, for a game journalist to say that their own audience <coughs> is, is terrible and, and dead. Oh, man. But regardless, uh, you know, I thought at the time, like, that's... That's exactly like journalist was yeah. back in 2010. And now we've learned that there literally is a gaming version of journalist. Yeah, I was just... This... <coughs> uh, whoa. Is he dead? Oh. Right part today exposed this, uh, this listserv of all the top gaming journalists. Um... They're all they're all on this list, and it's basically uh, the purpose of the list is to uh, control the narrative within gaming journalism, which is literally exactly the same as journalists. This is kind of shocking. Literally identical. Yeah. It's almost like they saw journalists back in 2010 when the the scandal erupted with Dave Lyle and all the other. <clears throat> people and what they were saying on the list and how they were <coughs> colluding to to shape their coverage supposedly objective journalists were were on this list colluding to shape coverage of news stories um it's almost like the gaming journalists saw that and were like Shh, dang that's awesome we should do that because <laughs> mm. that's exactly what they did uh it's pretty shocking what did you think of it uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I was surprised that they went through those links for something like for gaming, where it's not like as obvious, where there's like an ideological, like I don't know, uh, objective. You know, like I mean, it's like in journal or for journalists, it was like yeah, they had specific like ideological goals or whatever. Um, but you know, like it's a video game, I wouldn't think like oh, yeah, they. They need to like control the narrative on anything. Right. right. I mean, it, se it seems more obvious why why it would happen in political journalism, right? Yeah. Um, well, oh, the other thing is, is like, I, I feel like, I mean, in the past, like, when I've heard of like, uh, you know, video game news outlets, um, do, or like ha ha having their um, coverage in some way compromised, it's like when you know, like big developers pay them like the big bucks to. Yeah, and that's you know, part it's of the big, whole... it's basically like propaganda, like advertising or whatever. But sure, well, that's part of the <coughs> uproar with Gamergate too. I guess. I mean, a I lot guess of people like, felt that that that's yeah. happening a lot. Substitute like bribery with like sleeping in the summer or something. Like <laughs> I can see why it's more it's more obvious that it would happen in political journalism because uh, you know that, that there seem to be higher stakes as far as the like, yeah. Uh, as far as bias goes, and sort of more obvious why there would be bias. Mm -hmm. But uh, lately in, in games journalism, in game sites, it's all become very political. And most of it is in like the most boring possible way. Yeah. It's just all quotaism. It's just, oh well, you know, the Assassin's Creed, they, only, they got four white guys again. Hmm. Uh, why isn't there a woman? Why? Why? Why isn't there? You know, women are forty or fifty-one percent of the population, so they be they should be fifty-one percent of the uh, video game characters. Yeah, like, no, okay. it's like it's like, like the eighties and nineties in academia is like video game journalism right now. Yeah, and it's just it's just <coughs> typical liberal nonsense that that sweeps a lot of different. It's swept through a lot of different industries, and it's currently, yeah, the last few years has has been. In gaming, yeah, well, start started to take its toll on, on gaming. I go to gaming to get away from politics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's fine if you want to critique a specific game and say like, or if it's know, like yeah, characters if it's like don't legit make sense or something like that. Or, or, yeah. Or, yeah, or whatever. Or, or you know, it's fine. It, Jar Jar Binks. Video games are, are pieces of culture, pieces of art. You can critique them and say their stories aren't compelling enough, or, or you know, maybe it would have been better if, if this character had been this. It would have been more interesting if, if um, Ellie was the lead of The Last of Us instead of, you know, the, instead of, uh, what's his face, the guy? Who's the guy's name? I don't remember. Whatever. If, if he had been the lead instead of, or if the girl had been the lead instead of 
Like, you know, the guy. Why are there no transgender Maybe exos in Destiny as well? Right. They but are. instead of, like, thoughtful critiques uh, of the games, they're just, it's basically just quotaism. It's just, there's, there aren't enough uh, black lesbian characters in, in AAA games. Why, you know, that, therefore they're racist and sexist. That's true. Like, that's that's the extent of the vast majority of, li the, you know, liberal feminist criticism of video games. Yeah. It's just quotism. It's just boring. It's not even, it's not even compelling or interesting critiques. It's stupid and obnoxious, knee-jerk liberalism at its worst. And I think people are, f a lot of gamers are basically, <coughs> basically really tired of that. Yeah. And that's, that's showing now. And then, on top of that, is the, the... The blatant bias, the collusion to, to change narratives, and the collusion to yeah. to uh, uh, wow. <coughs> hold hold down hold you know hold, hold back truth too. Mm -hmm. That's another problem. That's just like journalists. It's like because uh, a lot of what was going on in that in that um, in that jur in their gaming journalist thing, a lot of it was like we're not even going to talk about this story because we don't like the political implications or yeah. you know, whatever so you know I, I think it's it's really interesting too to see to see how the average gamer is reacting which is very negatively to to the way that you know to the journalistism what do you think about this i think uh there's there's some opportunity there for conservatives to reach out to these to these people i think because of the it's basically literally the exact same thing that we dealt with in, in political journalism. Mm -hmm. And so, so, you know, you can push them and be like, you guys hate this, and there's good reason, and this is how... The, the left isn't just doing this in game, gaming journalism. Yeah. They also did the, literally the exact same thing in, in political journalism. Well, so. I think um, I think it would definitely appeal <clears throat> like... Well, I think it's probably more of like a libertarian... Oh, I think it's probably more of like a libertarian argument to be made... Because nobody, I mean, I think gamers was a strong, like, anti-paternalistic streak, you know? Um, so I think they wouldn't appreciate, I think that's, like, probably more of, like, the, the way you'd come at it. Um, what do you mean? They would probably just take issue with the fact that there's, like, this group of journalists who, like, thinks they understand that, like, you're so much of a baby that you need to be, like... Um, to have like these quotas in your games, and um, I mean, frankly, they are like pretty condescending. I would say, like, or at least from, like from the, like the little bit I saw, oh, yeah. and from like from a lot of that like quota journalism that you're talking about, it's really it's extremely condescending. So I think that's probably the tack that I would take with that. I don't think it's like necessarily like translates into like a conservative argument or something like that. Like, I don't think they would make the, the connection. But yeah, it would probably just like get them to think about like the media in a different way too, you know what yeah. I mean? Or like even just like paternalism in general, like nobody likes that. That's why so many father figures die in video games. So, I mean like Bill, when Bill died and left for dead, I mean, it was horrible. Um, mm. this is a thing, so. Um. It's just like you're missing lots of followers. That's my, that's my point. <laughs> Die, Disco Stu. Die. Uh, that's on the If you realize that Games Journal, or, you know, Gamergate is, uh, is bad and unethical, uh, I think that you probably feel the same way about journalists. Well, does that even exist anymore? Or like, you're, I mean, like, I guess it probably does, but they're so probably, like, a little bit more careful. Anymore? Oh, well, I'm sure it exists. Like some it, kind of, I mean, if not that, then something else. It's, it's like, not nothing publicly you known, which certainly I do. Yeah. But the point is that this already happened in, in political journalism. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> like, literally, exactly the same thing happened. And so you can, you can say to these people, to, to these gamers, you can be like, look, you're upset about, about them colluding to shape the narrative because it's, you know, they're hiding the truth. Uh, they're hiding other people's other sides of the story, probably sides of the story that you agree with. But guess what? That happens uh, in politics as well. Exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. and here's a, here's an example. It's literally the same thing. So you should you should uh, consider uh, you know this. You should you should probably feel the same way about this. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, I think it would definitely help them feel more like wary about um, how they. 
like the media that they take in, yeah. but um, yeah, but at I mean, the same time, I mean, like you know, yeah, yeah. maybe they don't like yeah. politics. Oh, where are you? Oh, God. Where are you? Oh my God! What the heck? Where did you go? Are you up there? Oh uh, no! Oh wait, what the? Let's see. They, oh, they're gonna get us! They got us! So I, I just think that there's some opportunity to to speak to these people who probably Ooh, throw down a plant. Oh, yeah. Throw down a plant, Stephen. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Um. There's, you know, there's not a very yes. good opportunity to speak to people who just haven't, maybe haven't been exposed <coughs> to, maybe they haven't been, ex sorry, <laughs> it's okay, maybe they haven't been exposed to, uh, oh. you know, liberal corruption and, and, and politics and, and sort of, uh, <clears throat> maybe they don't realize that there's, hey, you know, the media, basically, oh, hey, Gamergate's bad because, all these reporters are colluding to hide a certain point of view that they don't agree with, or to delegitimize it. <clears throat> um, even though, even though many, many people hold that view, <clears throat> well, look, look, that happens in, po in political media all the time. So maybe you, you should search out that other point of view and see what, what you think about it. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. you can hope. You can hope. So that's how I think Gamergate will lead to irreversible conservative majorities in uh, the House, Senate, and, and Presidency from here on out. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, man. Oh, oh God, God. Devil, devil Zombie. You die, I Devil Zombie. I can catch you on fire. Ah. Oh, no. Come here. I'm on a plant for you. Screen oh. those zombies. Uh oh, Here I got, I got, I got it. Hey, get it up. Oh, I hate these stupid bombs. Oh, bomb guy. Oh, here I'll go get. Oh, no, I'll go. Jeez, there. there's like. Yeah, wow. Did I see a barrel guy too? Hey, what the heck? Oh, I'm about to die. Come over here. Where are you? Ah! No, not my group shroom, damn you! Ugh. Annoying. Oh god, I'm trying to fall. I. <coughs> oh, we're on wave 20. Well, go on now. Oh, we we're on wave 20. <laughs> we did. 20 round challenge, only made it tonight. Did we make it to 20? We're on only 20. Even. And then we died. Yeah, of course. I thought we did bad this time, but... Yeah, it went by pretty fast. All right, that's it for this episode. Uh, <coughs> we're still sick, as you mm -hmm. can see. A never-ending sickness. It's pretty terrible, actually. Um, <coughs> <Ugh>. <coughs> but uh, we'll be back again next week with a new episode. Uh, I'm actually going to set up a, a fundraising campaign so that I can um, get some new equipment for the show, uh, maybe a new camera, definitely a new computer so I could start doing Skype interviews again. Um, obviously the show's been a little bit li limited in the last month or two. Um, I'd like to try to have some more guests on, uh, new guests. But uh, in order to do that, I need a new computer with, that can handle the software required to do to record everything at once so uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a little fundraiser pitch in whatever you can I'll, I'll put a link down in the description once the fundraisers up <coughs> uh, I'll probably do it I'll do a video as well on explaining the fundraiser itself but look for that in the coming weeks make sure you, if this is the first time you watch make sure you subscribe to the channel um, there'll be a link on the video for that uh, Make sure you go over to PrestoMemos.com dot com and read some of Rachel's new writings. She's getting back into the game, right? I mean, Rachel's one of the old school bloggers from. Uh, yeah, I got my first like installation in like two thousand three or something. It was like a long time ago. So she was a pioneer, one of the pioneers, mm -hmm. pretty much mm -hmm. before I was in the game. Yeah, you were still a fetus. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, <coughs> I didn't. I was in and around what, what year? Two thousand 
seven. I don't know. My first blog was like 1999. Wow. That's because I'm yeah. old, but yeah. yeah you're like middle school blogging? It's high school. High school? I remember like my like first blog post school? was like going to a George W. Bush campaign event. <laughs> I got so close, I like shook his hand, I think. Yeah, I shook nice. his hand. Yeah. There you go. It was good times. He's cool. Yeah. He's a good guy. No, out in Naperville. <laughs> but I've nice. got my new post is called Ever Ancient, Ever New Media, which I think is brilliant. It's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, go read it. Um, I'll put a link to that. It's not as up well. yet. It'll be up when this video gets up. So maybe not. It better be. I'm a writer. <laughs> but uh, I'll put a link to that in the description, so you can check it out. But make sure you go over there and, and RSS feed to I don't know, RSS. I haven't subscribe put it up yet, but I will. To her, to her bookmark, her site, uh, and then like this video. Um, there's so many things that. There's so much homework every week for people watching at home. Subscribe, visit websites, like the video, share the video with all of your five friends that you know. You know. Which is five more than I have, so. Yeah. Be proud. That's anyway, true. go ahead and watch all of the other videos on this channel in order at once. Mm hmm. So get my YouTube stats up. Get them way up there. <coughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. We'll see you, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.